Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty in a Delaware court today to two federal misdemeanor counts for not paying taxes. That surprise move came after a plea deal fell apart at the last moment. Critics argue Hunter Biden is getting special treatment as the president's son. Some House GOP lawmakers say their investigations are only just beginning here. NBC's Alice Bars on Capitol Hill with the details. Courthouse confusion today in Delaware, where the plea deal for President Biden's son Hunter fell apart at the finish line. Hunter Biden pleading not guilty to federal tax charges. He was prepared to plead guilty to two misdemeanor counts of failing to pay his taxes in 2017 and 2018. But that hit a snag when the federal judge raised concerns about a related agreement on the more serious charge of possessing a gun as a known drug user, also in 2018. And then under questioning from the judge, who is a Trump appointee, prosecutors acknowledged this deal would not protect Hunter Biden from any potential future charges including possible violations related to representing foreign governments. Defense attorneys had thought the plea deal marked the end of a five-year investigation into Hunter Biden's business dealings. The judge is saying, well, if it's ongoing, why are we resolving it here? Republican lawmakers have long argued Mr. Biden was getting preferential treatment. They're going to say, aha, look, Hunter Biden is still being invented, uh, investigated for these, these business dealings. House Republicans holding their own investigations recently heard from two IRS whistleblowers who allege their superior superiors and federal prosecutors steered the investigation away from more serious charges for Hunter Biden. Now House GOP members considering an impeachment inquiry of President Biden. Where's the truth? You've got to get to the bottom of the truth. Trying to tie him to his son's business dealings, though they have yet to produce any concrete evidence. The White House denies any connection to the president and says he and the first lady support their son as he continues to rebuild his life. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.